Hi guys, Russ here from Wilson Land and Cattle Company. Today we're getting our hogs ready to go to harvest. We said we raised eight hogs out. We have seven left. We had a, had a good friend come to the farm and harvest one here at the farm. So I'm glad to see these guys go. I wasn't going to do a video on this, but I want to want the farm to be as transparent as possible. So I just wanted to show you what the hogs can do for you if you're raising hogs being that we're an adaptive grazing farm or regenerative grazing farm i didn't like to see what had happened raising this group of hogs out this year normally we don't have too much trouble with them rooting and stuff but it was really wet and i think that's what caused some of our issues they got the paddocks they started rooting things up for us here really made me mad you can see here they got a spot here where they're rooting before they're in this paddock well we've moved them across here they just started rolling the sod up like a carpeting i just parked them i'll come in here after the fact and plant cover fall cover crops in here with some permanent uh clovers and stuff this field grows clover really well so um, we'll put a, a heavy dose of clover on it. If you're doing hogs and you want to do them out in pasture, you could potentially have a mess like this. And that's exactly what it is, is a mess. And it's something that really has bothered me with this group of hogs. Now normally, like I said, we normally don't have that much trouble. But anyhow, we got to get these guys buttoned up and off, headed out to harvest. So what we'll start off with is we have a flat tire here, so we're gonna get it pumped up. I brought my air compressor out, get some air in that tire. Hopefully it holds. Hopefully they didn't chew the valve stem off. Scout. Scout. I guess Scout vacated on me. Yep, he's gone. He doesn't like hogs. Scout absolutely hates hogs. Oh no, there he is. There's Buddy Scout. Come here. Come here. Say hello. Say hello. Huh. Say hello. You're a good boy. Yep. You just want to sit in that darn old tractor. That's how I feel too. I hate tractors. Okay, we're going to go get some air in that tire. Walker come out and closed the hogs in this morning already. Boy, they got that, that there scraped back pretty bad. I'll tell you what, we bought some Gallagher Turbo Braid this year just to try some different fencing. And it isn't worth a crap. That stuff is falling apart in less than a year really really surprising to me this Gallagher usually has pretty good products get this tire pumped up and that that turbo braid is uh, falling apart in less than a year and we have some Ken Cove braid it's nine years old we haven't had any issues with it and it's still going strong don't buy Gallagher turbo braid it's junk Hopefully the tire's not blown. Hopefully I have enough air in the tank here to pump this up. We should have. All the other tires have air in them, so that's good. If it has tires on it, eventually they're going to go flat. It doesn't matter. I got 25 pounds in it. That should be enough. Still have 60 pounds left in the tank yet. We're going to try and get as much in this as we can. I'd like to have about 40 pounds in it, if possible. And that's not going to happen. And I should have enough to get it out of the field anyhow. There's about 26 pounds in it. And that's exactly what they did. The pigs got my vel stem.
dirty rats. Stick a chunk of mud in there to hold that valve stem off to the side. Hopefully, we can get it back to the shop. <laughs> oh, I didn't know if those angles was going to work or not. I guess they didn't. We'll need a longer piece of angle iron on there. Throw this back on a tractor here, real quick. Try and get this done as quickly as possible so we can at least get the wagon out of the pasture field. Okay, we need to turn our water supply off right here there shouldn't be any electricity in this fence shut that off We got our hose hooked up, our wires down. We need to go in here and put our ramp up. There's two five gallon buckets on the side that shouldn't be there. And let's just put the ramp up enough to get the wagon out of the fence. That should get us out of the fence. We've got a shovel in there. We'll shovel that ramp off so it's not so heavy. show you this real quick these are some squash plants were volunteered from last year when we were growing hogs we have gourds planted out there these squash plants has cross-pollinated with the gourds you can see the gourd there see the green there with the ring of green stripe around they cross-pollinated with the gourds this year, so they weren't any good to eat. All right, well, let's get this taken care of before that tire goes completely flat. Pick that up whenever we do the pick the fence up. I said how much I hate pigs. Boy, I sure like to eat them. Come on, Scout. Buckle 
shovel down. We're gonna leave the shovel out here. Let's get these guys back before the tire goes completely flat. Let up. Oh boy. Okay. The truck's coming later this afternoon sometime. Kind of need this, needed this out of the way a little bit. Maybe if you come back like another two feet, we can. That's what I was wondering about putting that, I mean, keeping that bait there. Okay guys, we're getting loaded up here. You guys are ready to come out, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, I saw that one standing up on a cake here. <laughs> Got one lane in front of the door here. Come on. your buddy. Your buddy. Come on. Come on. That's the way to unload pigs. Yes. Yes, it works good. Don't it? Okay guys, we got the pigs on the trailer. They're headed off to harvest. They're going to be harvested probably tomorrow sometime. And we're, we're glad that they're gone. They made a mess out there in the pasture as you've seen. Hopefully we can eliminate that next year. I have some ideas to try and fix that. 
please subscribe, like, comment, share with a friend, and hit that notification bell. We'll see you on the next one. Have a good one.